Good morning. It is about 8.30. I'm off today to bar three with Ashby and her sister for 9.45 class with Dina. It's Fridays. Just doing a quick morning routine. So last night I was able to finish the vlog that is going live for today. And since today is Friday, I don't have to publish this vlog until Monday. So I have a day free from editing. Nice to have. Um, it's definitely not something that's like bogging me down, but it is something that's taking up a lot more time than I had anticipated. And I think that's just because the vlogs are so long. But the feedback I've been receiving from you guys is that you really do like the long vlogs. So I will keep making them as long as you guys keep watching them. I know the stuff obviously isn't like the most exciting, but like whose life is exciting every single day. And I'm not trying to create this like false persona of my life that is like so cool and so exciting and like making you guys so jealous of what I'm doing because that's just not the point of this. This is what I'm wearing to bar three. This is my new Urban Outfitters crop. You guys know I have it in the red. These are aloe leggings that I forgot that I had. And these are super old Ugg boots with my outdoor races top. A little early to bar three. I took a cab because my Uber pool I don't think would get me here in time. But as I'm getting out, I was like, oh, you can probably drop me off ahead, but we're at the light. And I don't like paying to sit at the light. So I was like, I'm gonna get out and walk. I see this lady next to me, like looking in to see if the cab is available. <laughs> it's Eva Chen, who I am like a really big fan of. And so I was like, do you? Yeah. So we're gonna do bar three, and then I hope they're still up for lunch after, because that'd be the dream. Guys, Christy, Ashby, how was bar three? Oh, hard. <laughs> we're getting tight. Tight. Tight for the wedding. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the maid of honor duties. I did it! <laughs> so we're at Jack's wife, Frida, now for a brunch, brunch breakfast, and Ashby's telling me all about her wedding and her wedding plans. Look at it, look at it, woo! Yeah. Yay, so exciting. Okay, lunch is here, lunch is here. Woo! Ashby's about to hop on a call for a wedding. <laughs> Okay, we're back at Ashby's apartment. She lives in a very beautiful apartment on the Come Upper visit, West Side. guys. <laughs> Christy lounging. Still here. Ashby and I have been talking, and we have some really fun ideas and plans. So, Ashby, you guys have seen on Instagram and in a few videos and whatnot, but she is like one of the funniest people I know. The way she tells stories is like hilarious. I, every time she reads a book, I'm just like, give me the synopsis, watch The Bachelor, give me the synopsis. And I thought it'd be really fun to do, not like a podcast, but like a video cast so the two of us sitting down mm -hmm. and like talking about weddings, talking about it's work. Bring you guys the knowledge. Yeah, you how we what met. What you need to know. Right, <laughs> everything. Right. But in the meantime, we gotta tighten this up. Yeah, we're both engaged. We're and both shedding for the wedding. Yes, Ashley has a lot more time than I do. But I always want to try SLT. Um, it's not in class pass, so it's something that we're gonna have to like buy separately. Right. And Ashby was just like, we gotta tighten it up. Yeah. So we gotta do Pilates. Yeah. Because everyone that does Pilates is so tight. So we gotta we gotta find a package and we're gonna commit for a month. For a month. We're gonna take you on the journey, which I think would be pretty fun. Yeah. Before we'll, and after. Yeah, we're just before and after. So we'll do like the measuring tape, like yes. the inches we lost, which doesn't even make sense. Where it's like I lost ten inches. Right. Like, where? Yeah. In your, on my finger. Like, <laughs> anyways, that'll be us. We just decided we're gonna do this, and I thought it'd be really fun. So if you have any like fun ideas of topics you want us to cover, anything like that, you can leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, down below, <laughs> and we can just start that next week. Okay. Ashley's a real estate. We need to come agent. up with a with a name. We do need to come up with a name. If you have any suggestions, <laughs> leave the comments below. Our names. <laughs> Ashley's a real estate agent, so we both have very flexible I'll be, schedules. I'll be plugging that a bit too. <laughs> this won't be the first time you hear. So if you need an apartment like this one on the Upper West Side, she's you your too girl. Can live here. Hopefully, you guys just don't have to keep seeing my face uh, editing we day it up, in guys. and We're day sick out. Of this mug. You need more of this, right? With less chin because of SLT. So I was explaining to Christy and Ashby about the mean comments and how if all y'all are on this. You better get off because we're coming for you, Mystery Turkey Sandwich Man, which is your username. Cyberbullying. What? People are watching the vlog and commenting, so this is a direct call out. <laughs> That you're, I'm coming for you, lonely tubby time. So I was explaining to them how it's obviously like a vicious process. You shouldn't read it because it's just negative and I go to it and I'm surprised that the feedback is negative. It's just literally a vicious cycle. So Ashley's what are they, what are even they saying? And so we're going through and she's only reading the not as bad kind of nice ones and somebody was just like, 
I'm gonna follow them. So, and then two so, comments later, they're like, I'm not following her anymore. They were like, you know what? It sounds like Krista's got some new content. This is great. I'm gonna start following her. And I'm like, Krista, great job. I started scrolling. He's like, I take back what I said. I'm not following her. She, she bought a Chanel bag. Can you believe it? I'm like, oh, a secondhand Chanel bag, everyone. Right. People are upset, I guess, that I bought the Chanel. And then somebody also is upset that I didn't pay full price for it. And then somebody's upset that I paid too much for it. Let's just clear the air. Bought it secondhand. It was $1,200. Which, by the way, is too much for a bag. I can't afford that, and neither can all of you. So don't think that this is okay. <laughs> it's not that okay. Are you, are you but for her, it's me? fine. I'm pulling her. But it's better than cyber. It's just to my face. <laughs> to your face, <laughs> please. Correct. It's a lot for a bag. I have not bought like a, a nice new designer bag in a while. Treat I decided yourself. to treat myself. I saved a lot of money this year. So I found a really good price on the Chanel bags. And it's something I'm going to keep for the rest of my life. So You got turned down for unemployment, so... <laughs> You know, that sucks. Also, Life my is dad is a lawyer and he's the one who handled my severance package. MLB said they would pay for my unemployment. He said I should look into it. I looked into it. I wasn't able to get it, obviously, but it's something I had to do. So it's like, that's just... That's part of life. It's when you get laid off from somewhere, you need to take all the necessary steps to collect the money that is either being given to you for free or owed to you. You're supposed to get the money that you're entitled to own. So I applied for it. I didn't I didn't get it, obviously, which is fine. I don't they need said that here. Duh. Yeah. I don't need that, but it was something that I was advised to do. Advised to do. Advised to do. Um and it didn't work out. Guys, so maybe we can make this a, a series where she just reads them. A call out. Because you're watching the vlog and you're admitting it here. So you're obviously a fan. Except for this turkey man who's not a fan and has unfollowed. So he won't see this. But come at us. So We're she can just you. read read like the mean comments and I can just respond to them. Right. Lonely Dubby Time. I hope Lonely Dubby Time's watching. Stop say being mean. say be what's kind. up. I love everyone. Be kind. Just be kind. It's 2019. Can we just be nice to each other? Yeah. Yes. Just be nice. The world nicer when people are kind. Back home, feeling just happy, filled with love, hanging out with Ashby and her sister. You know, the type of person that you, everybody needs somebody like her in your life. She's just so funny and very real, and she'll tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. She's just great. So, I'm excited to have her on these videos, and what better, you know, person to join me than her. It's, it's gonna be a lot of fun, and I hope you're excited, because I'm really excited. I just got in more packages. We're just gonna quickly open them. I read The Hating Game and liked it, so excited to read this. This is another package from Brooks Brothers for that campaign I was telling you guys about. We're focusing on suit separates. This is the jacket, and then one of these boxes should be the bottom. Also, Outdoor Voices came in. That was like the quickest ever, so I hope you guys are able to snag something from the sale because it's good. We have the Tech Sweat bra that matches these pants. These are tri-toned pants, and these should match this. And then this will also match the bra that I have for this print. And I understand that I get a lot of packages in and I'm always talking about shopping and oh my god, I need this and that. Shopping is a good percent of my job, whether it's through clothing reviews or with this Outdoor Voices stuff. I'm gonna try and focus more on fitness. I never want you guys to feel pressured that you need to buy as much as I do because you don't. Shopping this much, I don't think is healthy for anybody. I never want you guys to feel pressured to buy all of that. If that makes sense. These are the other things from Vineyard, from Brooks Brothers. It's a matching skirt and a navy blouse. So that would be really cute. This is from Rent the Runway. That's so strange. This is my order. I guess they're not doing their bags anymore. I don't know, usually you get like a bag that you package up and send back. So this dress is from Tanya Taylor. I look so bad, so bad in jumpsuits, but this looks so cute on the Rent the Runway model. So I'm gonna have to try it out. This is a red Valentino dress that I can never afford on my own. So hopefully it looks cute. And then a, it's just a fur simple coat to wear over whatever because it is freezing outside. And then this should be pants. So remember that white J. Crew sweater I sang would go really cute with some nice white pants and like a camel coat over it. I think it would look really, really cute. So I think I'm going to pick up uh, my apartment a little take a shower. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, pick up, um, and then after I'm settled, we can probably do a try-on haul. All right, ready for this try-on haul? Um, the first thing I put on 
is this Reformation green maxi dress. This is totally outside my norm of things I would like wear, but I think I kind of like it. How cute is this? Little baby. Oh. I love this skirt. So this is actually the kind of skirt I want made for the welcome party at my wedding with our wedding print. It has pockets. It's gorgeous, just gorgeous. I just need somewhere to wear it. Saving Booty woke up. Now even cuter. So remember when I told you that I don't look good in jumpsuits? <laughs> well, that's just because my hips are the widest part of me and jumpsuits usually don't like accommodate for that. The top of this is not, the whole thing actually is not that atrocious, but it's pretty bad. This is the run th one of the Run the Runway pieces. This up top, really cute. And then we get down to this. And like, <laughs> this had such promise, really, if I was just like, guys, this is my new jumpsuit, you'd be like, it's gorgeous, but... No. New update, baby is stretching. Baby is so cute. Okay, next is this beautiful wrap dress. This is a perfect dress for any office, whatever office you are in, this dress is the one for you. It's not a technical full wrap. This side actually buttons right here, so you don't have to like pull it through. Okay, so this was the outfit I was initially referring to when I got this sweater in, but I actually just don't really like this sweater that much. So it has a very dropped shoulder, kind of just empty right there, and it's not as soft as I was hoping for it to be. Just not my favorite. Maybe you'll like it in the green better, but these pants are exactly what I wanted. They are so cute. They're not super see-through, which is nice, and they're like perfect business pants. And here is the green sweater. I do like the green sweater more than I like the white, at least with this outfit, but I don't know that I love it enough to keep it. It's a beautiful cable knit. It's just like a little scratchy for my liking. Now this is a sweater I can get behind. Once again, so soft, really nice fitting. It has very long sleeves and it is long. I just love these sweaters so much. Blue and gray sweater, um, it's a little too boxy for me. So that's just not the look I was going for. A gorgeous color of pink, but it will be returned. All of my tank tops are in my other closet, but just to show you guys really quickly, this tweed blazer. So it is really well made, it has little hooks on the inside. I would only suggest getting it if it is on sale. I'm 5'6", and it does come a little bit shorter on me, so if you have long arms like my sister, I would not suggest buying this jacket. A little break to see the sunset over Jersey. Beautiful, and the way it's like reflecting on the city makes it so pink. Okay, here's the Rent the Runway dress. Uh, what I do really appreciate is this has a liner underneath it. It zips on the side. It's not a real wrap, but it does tie like one. And I decided to try on my black boots with it, and I really do like these. They slouch a little, but I feel like no matter what I do, no matter what boots I find, they will slouch. And then here is this red Valentino dress. Um, I thought it would look actually really bad with the black shoes, but I don't mind it. A very nicely made dress. I would never spend, you know, the $1,500 that this costs, but it's really cute, and I'm happy I'm able to rent it. So I am a Red Fleece ambassador, and if those who don't know, Red Fleece is a line from Brooks Brothers. So this is the suit set that I want to try on. They sent me a black ruffle shirt, which is gorgeous, but I feel like I didn't order it. I'm not one to order black items. I feel like maybe I ordered white, but it would definitely help this stand up more. So this is the top. It's a gorgeous top, no matter the color. And the skirt is really nice. It zips on the side. So here is the top. It has a ruffle down the front, um, covered buttons, and then these pleats as well. So really, really cute. A good work outfit, a good interview outfit. Obviously not to go together, but here are some of, I'm only gonna try on one pair of the Outdoor Voices because you guys know what they look like. Here's the leggings, and then this is the crop Nike top. I actually don't like that it goes up like this. Um, if it was all this color, I would like it a lot more, but it'll definitely be returned. Now this is something I can get behind. You guys know I love my funnel neck fleeces. It does come up very tall, so if you know you're cold outside and you just wanna cover your face, which has happened to me before. Okay, interesting. So this has a full zip on the side. You know, if you get hot, you need some ventilation. I feel like this neck, and I never say this, is just like almost too high, right? It's just like a lot of neck. 
so that might get annoying you can definitely like push it down but it's just like yeah I think I'm gonna send it back it's too much fabric this might be one of the softest things I own it is oh my goodness so soft I do really like this pocket so it zips it's still lined on the inside zips from this side too and then also velcros so you really have like all of the pouches this pouch here though is a mesh instead of a fleece lined one the elbow patches on it cute a little short so you can make it tighter along the bottom with these so it does definitely hug a little bit I don't love the hood I don't usually like hoods that much just because <laughs> they're not cute <gasps> I just can't get over how soft this is. Also with the black one I was just trying on, it was so hot. I was sweating. I had it on for less than a minute and it was like so warm. So if you're looking for something like that, that is it for the try on haul, obviously. This is like my favorite time of day in the city when it's still light enough to see everything, but the lights are all on. We are watching Game of Thrones. We just finished season five. Jon Snow just died. Andrew just made kale chips as well. Andrew, they're good. Are you just saying that for your video? No. I got a crunchy one. Yeah, the crunchy one's good. I like the seasoning on them. It's just salt. It's just salt? Yeah. Nothing else? Uh, oil and salt. Okay. I like it with red pepper, but it Thank you. One time Andrew made sweet potatoes and he made them spicy. It's like the worst. He's also making turkey burgers, turkey meatballs for dinner in the Instapot. Andrew's a good cook. was born to be an adventurer. Not exactly photogenic food. Tomorrow. So I'm gonna get started on editing this video for Monday. This weekend, what am I up to? Tomorrow morning, I have a 305 with Sophie. And then we have a friend's engagement party at five. And then we're taking it out of the tree. So we're taking it to Andrew's parents on Sunday. And they'll probably shoot for the vlog, run some errands, and then have dinner with his parents Sunday. And then I will be back with you guys on Monday. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Oh wait, no. I hope, you, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'm going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>